What's going on guys, it's your boy Gilly V and today I have a what's in my camera bag video. I've been wanting to get this video to you guys for a while now but it's been a little complicated to get the shots that I wanted to get because I only have one camera at the moment. Spoiler alert, it's not in the bag right now and also the mic on top of the camera is not in the bag as well. We'll get to what that is in a second. Roll the intro. So guys, now that that's out of the way, this is my camera bag. It is the Low Pro Pro Tactics A, uh, 350 AW. That's what it is. It's actually a very good size. And now that it's filled up, I kind of wish that I had the 450 version of this. But I'm very happy with this bag. It's very it's very nice nicely built um it's very rugged and it fits and holds all my equipment very snug and protects it it's it's actually built like a tank for our camera bag and i have no complaints whatsoever um i throw this thing around all the time and i haven't noticed any type of rips or tears or any type of defective stitching around it's very well built i'm gonna leave the links of all these things in the description i know it's gonna be it's gonna be pretty hard to find the links for all these things but i'm gonna do it for you guys because i know a lot of you are probably gonna be interested in some of this stuff so i'm gonna start off with obviously the main item in a camera bag it's not in here it's actually filming me at the moment and i'm gonna show you some shots of what that is so i have the sony a7 III and i am so amazed with the quality of this camera um i started my youtube channel with the sony a6500 but um I got that probably in uh, around Christmas time 2016 and I was using that for about a half a year and I love the camera but there was just some things that I couldn't deal with and that's basically just the battery um, the batteries in that thing were just too small and it wasn't giving me the juice that I needed to shoot like all day i basically had to carry around like five six batteries if i wanted to shoot around all day and with this camera it basically solved that issue because with the new z batteries and the new sony a7 III, i can shoot basically all day with one battery and also i did buy a spare battery and i never use it it's just been sitting in my bag so if I were to be shooting a lot more intense 4K video, then I would probably need that battery, but I don't need it 99% of the time. And 
also the lens that's always on the camera 90% of the time is the Sony 55 millimeter Zeiss 1.8 this thing is ridiculously sharp and I can shoot basically anything with it unless I have to vlog and that's it's obviously way too tight to vlog with but um, I can shoot I can get a lot of shallow depth of field I can shoot very very sharp photos um, the 4k is amazing the 120 the 1080 is very sharp still with this camera is actually that was another thing that the a6500 kind of wasn't great at was shooting 1080p and um, 1080p on this camera is a lot better so that lens is the second item in my camera bag the third item that i keep in my camera bag i can actually show you so let's open this baby up it's the sigma 16 millimeter 1.4 and this lens is amazing as well it's just as good as the 55 but it's a 16 and it is a crop censored lens so this ca this uh, camera lens is basically designed to be on the previous camera that I had the a6500 but they use the same mount and you can use this lens on the full frame a7 III in crop mode so what that does is it actually gives you a 24 millimeter depth of field when you're shooting with this lens but it's perfectly enough so that i can record myself if i vlog and it's very sharp it's a 1.4 so i get a lot of depth of field this lens has a very close uh minimal focus distance so i can be really up close to things and shoot them and be able to focus on them unlike the 55 which i kind of have to be way out here to be able to focus on what i want to shoot so this lens really does a lot of things that i cannot do with the 55 and i believe that they're pretty much a great pairing together i don't have any zoom lenses i really prefer primes and the only way i'll probably um replace this is if i get the 24 millimeter g master um from sony that was just released not too long ago i really want that lens but lenses are not cheap as a lot of you may know the 24 millimeter G Master runs about 1400. So it's gonna be a little while before I upgrade to that. But the good thing is that I can probably sell that for a few hundred dollars and that'll help with the cost of the 24 uh, G Master. So that is the third item in my bag. Uh, the fourth one is going to be the Mavic pro um, this thing I can't say enough good things about it I don't really fly it as much as I would like but this thing is amazing um, if you've seen any other videos in my channel you would notice that this is not the drone I've been using for a while um, before this I was using I was running the Mavic Air for a while that I had purchase when it first came out and then this thing dropped and it kind of blew me away and i i sold the mavic air to my buddy uh danny lopez and i'll link his channel somewhere on the screen that way you guys can see his footage and what he has done with uh his gear but basically I upgraded to this and it's a bigger drone than the Mavic Air. The Mavic Air fit a lot nicer in my bag, but this thing is just 
it really is on another level of the Mavic Air. Um, even the first Mavic Pro is, I still believe, on a higher level than the Mavic Air because of um, the ability to have, it has a bigger battery. Bigger battery is always better. I'm sorry, but I'm very, that's something very important to me. I need to be able to use these things when I need them and not have them running out of batteries all the time. And I did have that problem with the Mavic Air. Um, Danny also ended up trading the Mavic Air for a Mavic Pro, the first generation. And I'm pretty sure he's a lot happier with the battery life on that as well. Also, as you guys may know, this thing has the Hasselblad camera on it with the bigger sensor and you're gonna get a lot more dynamic range and you're gonna be able to manipulate your footage a lot better when it comes to colors because you're just getting a lot more information from the sensor of the camera. So this thing is amazing, man. It goes so far. It uses the AccuSync technology rather than Wi-Fi like the Mavic Air does. And I, I went to Puerto Rico, uh, Puerto Rico recently and listen, this thing handled winds like a champ at the beach. Um, it went as far as I needed it to go, farther than I needed it to go without any problem. And it transmitted back to the remote, which is right here um, in HD quality. Uh, this thing is amazing and this will remain in my bag with the a7 III because I believe it's the perfect bundle for me to create everything that I use that I do so there it is also I got the fly more package so that does come with two extra batteries and I believe it comes with a bag I don't use the bag because I usually keep my drone and everything that everything else in the bag. I have my batteries here. I have, this is a car charger for the dock. I can dock all the batteries and charge them all simultaneously. And that's the drone. That's number four in the bag. Also, what else do I have? Um, the road video mic pro plus which is actually on the camera right now but i don't have too much experience with it i haven't shot a lot since i've gotten it so i can't really tell how much of a difference it's giving me rather than this this is what i started with this is the road video micro and now I'm using, I barely, I don't use this thing for anything right now, but I do keep it in my mind, in my bag just in case. And what I am shooting on is the Rode Video Mic Pro Plus, which is basically the newest uh, top of the line shotgun mic for on camera purposes that they have. Um, I'm gonna leave the link to all of these in the description as well so you guys can find that also what else do i have here in this amazing bundle of joy i have all right let's do number six this is kind of on the outside of the bag but it's the joby gorilla pod 3k this is the bendy famous bendy tripod everybody has you can set it up anywhere you can bend this and hang it somewhere with your camera which i probably will never do but it serves a nice purpose of using it as a vlogging stick so you can set your camera on there with the microphone and talk into the camera wherever you go and have a million people look at you like you're crazy, but that's part of the game, you feel me? So that is 
the Joby 3K Gorilla Pod, and it's very useful. Um, you can set this down with the camera to do time lapses and, you know, to take uh, time pictures of yourself and your family. This thing comes in handy and it's small, light, compact, and it fits on the side of the bag. So that is my number six item in my camera bag. Put this thing away i have ocd so i like to put shit back where it goes other than that let's get to number what that was seven so i'm at number eight so this might be simple but this is actually one of my favorite accessories in my bag and it's the peak design yes it is very trendy and it's the Peak Design um, camera strap. And you notice it has these quick release little, uh, whatever they're called. But they attach to the anchors that are on the side of the camera so that I can just pop the camera in and keep it on me like a tourist. But in reality, what I really use this for is to get stable footage so what i do is i attach my camera to it and i just pan or tilt and i do the smooth movements that you would need to do to get smooth footage and this gives me that ability it's very handy um because if I wanted smooth footage, really smooth footage, I would use my Ronin S, but I don't really carry this around with me a lot, unless I know I'm gonna be shooting a project or I know I'm gonna be doing a vlog where I really wanna get some nice B-roll footage. I'll take this with me and I'll either strap it to the side of the bag or I'll just carry it. <clears throat> So that is number eight, a camera strap for stabilization. Also, let's see, a big thing is memory. Gotta have memory. And this is the best kind of memory, SSD. So it's the fastest way to transfer um, media from my laptop to store it, to edit off of. You don't wanna be editing off a hard drive. Listen, I've done it. And it's a night and day difference when you edit off of this versus editing off of this. This is a two terabyte lacy hard drive. It's amazing. Um, you could keep a lot of footage on it, but it's not ideal for editing. I would not recommend it. It can be done, but you're gonna be getting a lot more lag and a lot more rendering times off of this. On this, it's a lot snappier. You're gonna be able to edit easier. And trust me, you're gonna love yourself if you get one of these. I actually got this on sale, 500 gigs for a hundred bucks at uh, Best Buy. And I don't know, I don't think that sale is still running, but definitely you gotta get these sales when they come because this thing, a lot of other brands, 500 gigs, you're probably gonna pay like 200 bucks for an SSD. So storage, that's number nine. The last and certainly not least, I can't even show you either because it's not in my bag. It is my laptop. I have the 13 inch MacBook Pro uh, 2016 touch bar edition. Uh, that's what I edit off. That's what I run everything off of. Trust me, it's not the best to edit off of, but it actually gets the job done very well. And I cannot complain 
at all. I do plan on getting an external uh, GPU so that I can run like, uh, I don't know, Vega 56 or something. That'll help editing a lot. And I actually want to be, actually my boy Danny's been trying to get me to build a computer forever now, but that's might be on the back burner for a while. I'm checking out guys. See you in the next one.